Hi, my name is Brian and I'm going to talk a little bit about my aquarium installation that I'm starting on. So um, I'm leaning on my aquarium stand that I built. There's this playlist that has the series of videos about the aquarium stand in it. Um, there are still some more pieces to the aquarium stand that are not done yet. But for the moment, I need to prep the space the aquarium stand is going to go into. And that's here and here. So. One of the reasons that I built this aquarium stand so tall is that I need to put stuff underneath it. So my sump and all my support equipment is going to go under the aquarium. I also have some space down here that I'll put a closet and there'll be um, some more support equipment, including my six foot tall um, protein skimmer. Um, that project has dragged on for years. I will finally finish it. I promise. So. Um, and, and if I decide to scrap it, I will tell you why I've scrapped it. Um, I may or may not leave the videos up. Depends on, you know, what I find. So um, I need to make this wall waterproof because anywhere you have a sump, you're going to have splashes and you're going to have just stuff's going to happen. So I need to make this wall waterproof. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cement board product called Hardy Backer. Here in Texas, it's... Uh, it's made by the James Hardy company that's better known for its cement siding. They make a fantastic product. And um, this is basically concrete and fiberglass. And um, nothing eats it. It doesn't decay. Um, it's almost hilarious. They have, they have printed on here superior moisture and mold protection. Why, yes, of course, mold probably will not eat concrete. And if it starts to eat concrete, we have bigger problems. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on the wall and then I'm going to caulk it with a um, PL375 polyurethane adhesive. I'll, I'll smooth that over and then I will come back and paint it with a one part epoxy uh, floor paint. And the purpose of that is to create a um, low maintenance surface that is completely impervious to water so that if water splashes on it it's not going to soak into the wall and and cause bad things to to happen so um, without further ado let me get started I'm gonna drag the aquarium stand towards the camera so it's out of the way and then I'm going to um, get my screw gun now this takes a special kind of screw that is resistant to the alkaline environment that concrete provides and um, yeah, it just says backer on. It comes with a bit. It's $26, which is probably $20 more than, you know, 800 screws auto cost. But it is what it is. And you just pay it and smile because you got to have them. You cannot use any other kind of screw on backer board or it will rust it out. So uh, let me get my stuff together and I will put some of this in and show you guys how it's done. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened the package and I have installed the bit on my um, DeWalt uh, screw gun. This is their 20 volt max series. This thing rocks. It's ex extremely uh, powerful. Oh, this is heavy. So these weigh about probably 60 pounds a piece. And I'm gonna start in the corner. I'm actually going to move my screws closer to where I'm working. All right, so as I'm installing this, one of the things I need to do is trim this level. And the easiest way to do this is with a, with a Sawzall type reciprocating saw. So um, only takes a minute. It's 90% there. It ruins the blade. So um, it's just part of the cost of doing this. All right, so I'm gonna mark it with a chalk line.
so that's the first piece installed. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do this piece next. I actually take that back. So I'll go ahead and chalk line where my studs are. So for those that watch the uh, video on the aquarium stand, you know that this outlet plug is in the wrong location. And I'm actually going to move it over here. <coughs> so I'm just going to cut it off of here. All right, so I happen to have a pair of snapper shears, which are specifically for cutting um, hardy board. So I've made some marks where I want to cut, and what this will do is nibble at the, at the hardy board. So these are a little expensive, but they're worth their weight in gold because they don't make any dust. So that allows me to get a really, really clean. Let me get a few screws in here. This one's going to be a little different. You know, pretty much anywhere you have moisture, you want to make it impermeable. So yeah, that's another way to do this and um, it works extremely well.